Exercise is known to have positive physical benefits as well as cognitive benefits. And people with epilepsy often have memory and cognitive impairments. So we wanted to see how exercise can induce changes in learning and memory, as well as changes in white matter and neurite morphology. So we took a subset of patients with idiopathic generalized epilepsy or IgE from a pilot study that's already been conducted and looked at changes in the white matter um, and neurite morphology. And these patients um, either did six weeks of uh, an exercise intervention consisting of three times a week of combined endurance and resistance training, or uh, the other group were um, no exercise controls that did not exercise for that six week period. Both groups did cognitive assessments and MRI before and after those six weeks period. Um, and we looked at uh, changes um, in the uh, cognitive assessments, which is the California Verbal Learning Test and also the Montreal Cognitive Assessment, as well as uh, changes in um, white matter and your morphology. So for our group by time interactions for our CVLT2 scores, our exercise and intervention group saw an increase in their learning scores as well as an increase in their recognition discriminability scores. When it comes to the diffusion MRI, we saw that radial diffusivity increased in our no exercise group while it decreased in our exercise intervention group. And radial diffusivity is typically corresponding to um, white matter health, and so an increase in radial diffusivity uh, corresponds to white matter damage. So the fact that we saw a decrease in our exercise group shows that exercise may be either preventative or protective against the white matter damage that happens uh, in patients with epilepsy. So we also wanted to see if the changes in verbal learning and memory particularly the improvements that we saw were related to the changes in white matter that we saw. And indeed it was because we found that improvements in verbal learning and memory were associated with decreases in radial diffusivity. So this could potentially be a mechanism of action by which exercise is exerting its positive effects. So this line of investigation provides preliminary data for a larger study to test the efficacy and also mechanisms of action of exercise um, effects in people with epilepsy. And so right now we are actually conducting a larger randomized control trial uh, to investigate such effects.